Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater here with a video for you today. And my most quiet spot on the homestead is the barn. <laughs> I want to talk to you about something what I feel is critically important and some things that I think need to be discussed. There is a lot of things that are going on. Um, you know, I would say that there's been a lot going on, arguably, for the past 10 to 15 years. And to just to kind of open this video up, I want to say right now that the intention of this video is not to pick a fight or not to have a rant or not to have a put down or to argue. Um, I don't think it's going to lead to that really because I think my point is going to be pretty generic but yet pretty, I hope, powerful and I hope that it's made. Um, so the title of this video is going to be about removing your personal yoke of tyranny. So some folks are going to look at that and they're going to assume that I'm probably speaking on several specific topics. The reality in that is I'm not because I have learned that the more I homestead and the more skills that I learn, the less interest I have in arguing politics, religion, and her. So I have my opinions. They're very strong. Uh, and they drive a lot of what I do, but at the same time, I want to talk about taking personal responsibility. I think it's very easy and I think it's very cheap for people to complain and complain and complain and complain about the issues of today when they don't do anything in terms of personal responsibility for themselves. I actually think this is probably one of the biggest diseases that we, that we actually suffer from. Let me give you some examples of this. I think, I think it is great that people need to be aware of issues. I think people need to be educated on their rights. I think that you need to exercise your rights. I think that you need to stay abreast of current topics. What I do honestly think the most, however, let me put it to you this way. If you haven't noticed, this isn't a political page. Even my Facebook page, I try to steer clear of politics. And I make that very, very obvious. Um, not because I don't have my feelings and, and concerns and opinions about it. It's because I fundamentally think that the end result of all of this is your skill sets. That is, the, that is the drive for us. That is the drive in educating my children. That is the drive for my channels. It doesn't mean that I don't have a lack of concern or compassion for things. It just goes like this. Let me put it to you this way, like I said. It's very difficult to take people serious when they complain and complain and complain. Yet, if you really know them and if you look at their life, they're not actively doing anything to help their self-sustainability. Now, the first thing that somebody's gonna get all up in arms about and say, oh, what do you mean? Well, what I mean by that is, I know people personally, I really do, I know a lot of people personally, that are very educated, that are very, um, can have extremely uh, well diverse conversations about any topic that we want to bring up, okay? And there's a bunch of them. We're not gonna get specific today, okay? We're just gonna be generic on that part. But when they're talking about it and they have all of these concerns and they talk about having, you know, being able to make it and have self-sustainability, you know, after the years roll by, you sort of look at this person and you go, what have you done or what are you doing to secure your own security? Your great-great-great-grandmother and grandfather, the pioneers of this country, got up in arms about things per se because it absolutely yanked the possibility of them living. The yoke of tyranny was a problem because people had to have and had to do just to live. We have completely gotten away from the whole notion of self-sustainability. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and try to act like I'm something I'm not, okay, folks? What I am gonna tell you is that we are a family that are, have uprooted and have moved, and we are, as the, as the seasons roll by, and as the time rolls by, we continue to push ourselves in every facet that we can have the time management to do and afford to do, all while running a farm all while you know homeschooling children all while keeping a full-time job all while being completely um, 
self-sustaining in terms of paying our own bills. We, we don't rely on anybody, okay? We don't have grants. We, we, everything that you see on our little farm, we have paid for 100%. Okay? I'm not knocking any of these things, but what I'm saying is I don't have all the answers and I'm not a model for all of the answers. No one is, okay? Don't let them th make you think that they are. They're not. And the ones that are doing the best jobs will tell you that. We'll talk about that. What I am going to say is it is very cheap for people to have all these opinions and concerns, but yet they're not doing anything personally. Now, some folks are going to say, well, I can't, I can't move. Well, for a while, I couldn't either. Some people are going to say, I have a disability. Well, I, ha I, I honestly have sympathy for that. I'm, I'm not knocking that, okay? But what I am saying is, if you can watch this video, and if you have a Facebook page, you have internet. You can read. And reading and educating yourself is a very powerful resource. Here is what I'm trying to do. This is, this is a push back to the complaining and the non-doers. Um, I really think that it's time that people understand that it is precedent. It is, it, is, it is the time to take back your right to learn your skills. You have every right to read and to learn and to try to do as much as you can. It does not take much to learn how to bake a loaf of bread. It does not take much to get a little sewing kit or a crocheting kit from Walmart and teach yourself that. For many of us, it doesn't take a lot to pick up vegetables here or there or something and try to basic learn how to, you know how to learn a basic water bath in our kitchen. A lot of these things that I hear people say they can't do don't like my response because they know that it's the truth. So. It is totally up to you that if you don't like the way that things are going, you do have a lot of control in these issues. Call your senators. Call your local representatives. Get on those petitions. Do the things that's required for, because there's a lot of things that are going on that are, that are you know, that, that are concerning to people. But at the same time, at the end of the day, on the flip, what are you doing, okay? Self-sustainability is multifaceted, okay? You don't have to be the best at everything. I know I'm not, and let me explain something else about it. The more you do, the more concerned you're actually probably going to be because to be honest with you, it is absolutely mind-blowing how far away we are in terms of, the, of that word. This lifestyle is not simple. You know, I started learning to make bread with a bread machine. I since threw it out. I have since taken over the whole notion of making it by hand and learning to make it in the oven out of, you know, out of my, out of this or that. The next approach is obviously learning to make it in a wood stove. When you start doing and doing things and learning things and reading about skills and testing yourself, you're going to find out real quick what little you know. And, you know, I re that's why I say these things are a, ma are a major time commitment. You're not going to learn to be a, a decent gardener in just one season. You might think you did. You know, you might think you learned a lot. And then you're going to find out next year what you did last year may not apply for this year. And you have to revamp and you have to redo. That's why I, t I, I press people because we've absolutely learned that it is a complete time process. So I, I say and I repeat in the most gentle and graceful and loving way that I physically know how, <clears throat> if you want to remove the yoke of tyranny, you've got to start with yourself. That doesn't mean don't be involved. That doesn't mean don't voice yourself, don't vote, don't call, don't, don't make people aware. But stop wasting your time arguing with people on social media stop sitting in front of the TV hours and hours and absorbing these things and whatever find ways I've got a little bug on me find ways to activate your skills go to the library there is so much online now and on YouTube do it and furthermore if you have not involved your children or grandchildren at this point any homesteader that I think has their work, any, any weight to them, 
the first thing they're going to say is, I wish I had taught my children more. I, I, see, he's, he thinks it's important. I wish I had done more sooner. I wish I had taught my children. You're going to find that out. So, press forward, get involved, be positive. Learning anything is better than learning nothing, okay? Start gaining books. Go, if you're not sure what homesteading books to look for, there's a ton. I'm actually going to do a video on a book, some book recommendations for many of you because a lot of you are asking. Go to the tractor supply. I did a video on that just to show you. Go to the local tractor supply. When you have to hit, when you when you got to go to the grocery store to supply your food, your food list for the week, run by the tractor supply. Run in there for 10 minutes and just stand and look at the books. Write a few names down. Come home. Look them up online. Look them at, go look at them at the library. Start typing it. Find something you're interested in. Beekeeping, bread making, crocheting, canning, gardening, animal husbandry from all sides of the coin. If you aren't doing it actively, start with reading about it. I hope this helps you out. To be honest with you, a lot of the other topics you're seeing online and a lot of the rants you're seeing online are a waste of your time. Um, they're good to hear once or twice but when that little voice comes in the back of your head and and you know you feel disturbed about certain things do the initial things you know to speak and to be but the rest is on you the great pioneers of this country didn't stand around and wait for somebody else to tell them to go and do that's on more on a personal front. They hacked it out and they made it happen. I hope this helps you out. If you like what you see here at Appalachia's Homestead, please like and subscribe. We love hearing from you. We want to be um, we want to be a standard of help and of motivation, and we think that that is our calling, and we think that it's a, there's a major time for that. I think most people would probably agree. So, love you guys. Y'all take care out there. Like, you know, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Pinterest. Love hearing from you. And again, follow your gut. You know what it's telling you to do, and it's getting back to your roots. Y'all take care.